Community solar gardens are blooming across Minnesota. Uh, they're a way for everyday people to share in renewable power. And that had Tim from Schaefer wondering, how do solar gardens work? Good question. Heather Brown went to Eichton's Hidden Acres in Chisago County to find out. What used to be on this land? This was pretty much a hayfield for my bison. Now, 22 acres of Ed Eichton's farm is solar panels, enough to create energy for 800 homes for a year. They work on Sundays, weekends, holidays, <laughs> doesn't matter. They work. It doesn't matter if it's cloudy or rainy or snowing. The sun rays still come through. They hit the panels and produce electricity. So there's basically three ways you can get solar power, right? Mm -hmm. You can have a, a, your own panel on a roof, one of those big giant solar farms. Like the North Star Solar Facility in North Branch. Or this. Correct. Okay, and these are yep. solar gardens. Yeah, so this is main, uh, these are, these projects are made for the community. Eric Posse is with IPS Solar. The power that's being harnessed here doesn't power up the house next door, the farm next door. Correct. Where does it go? It goes into the grid. And here's how it happens. The kinetic energy from the sun hits the silicone on the panels. Which knock electrons loose. Those electrons then flow to an inverter on the farm. Which converts the energy into AC electricity mm -hmm. that would be used in a home or, or at a business. That energy then goes to power lines to the utility's grid. It's usually Excel. We're seven miles from the Wisconsin border. A lot of this electricity is going into Wisconsin. Are you okay with that? I am. <laughs> Homeowners or groups can subscribe to the gardens. They pay in each month and then get credits on their utility bill. There's usually about a 10% savings on electricity costs. Right now, 1% of Minnesota's energy comes from solar, and about half that is from the state's 131 solar gardens, which in most cases lease the land from farmers like Ed. At uh, my age in the mid-60s, it's kind of a, <laughs> helps my retirement plan a little bit. Have the brown. It's a feel-good thing, too, you know. Yeah, WCCO 4 News.